If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it will be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books... on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more... <sighs> Such a pain. <sighs> I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So, let's meet there shortly. Thank you. 
cutie. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special... So it is. In that case, I declare this the day of... The day of my life I wish I could get back because I spent my first ever outing with someone taking them on an annoying errand. Don't you think that's a bit long? <laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick. Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Sure, there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. My goodness! This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the Northern Border Wind investigation. What is it doing here? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Today's recommendation is a steak. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're going to eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't change again? <sighs> Why don't you order us something? What does Lisa like to eat? She's been here a few times with Master Jean for afternoon tea before. I think she normally orders something vegetarian. A lady tends to eat cautiously on account of her physique, after all. On that note, I should probably be watching my own diet a little more. 
Star Snatched Cliff is known for its views. <sighs> I imagine that making a good vegetable soup takes good quality ingredients, cooked in the right order, at the right heat, for the right length of time. At least, those are the principles that apply when one is making potions. But from what I've heard, soup making was a popular pastime among the witches of the past. You sure? Can't change again? Hmm, finished ordering? Sit here, let's dine together. A fine choice. I'm pleasantly surprised. A truly enchanting dish. Certainly a good fit for a witch. I am simply brimming with elemental energy after that. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. Hmm. She means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <sighs> okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop, then, cutie. I guess I'll post an expedition at the Adventurer's Guild. Dandelions? Of course they're flowers. <sighs> this is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without ro- <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Mist flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? What an unusual choice. It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. You sure? Can't change... Some flowers from... Dandelions are one of our classics. And a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Bra Come to think of it, Ma You sure? Some flowers from... You want my help? I don't know if I have the best taste in flowers. What I c some flowers for Miss Lisa? These roses were bought from a traveling merchant a few days ago. Miss Flora thought maybe someone would like them. This is the only bunch. You sure? I can see you put a lot of thought into this. Have you ever heard of the Witch of Purple Rose before? I thought that after returning to Mondstadt, I wouldn't have the chance to see fresh roses again. This seems like a good sign. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies ring a bell. Oh, uh, yes. Well, what happened?
weapon was... was... Oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna has done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh! Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? <laughs> 